Mningagwa sends chilling warning to protesters. Today's meeting is held against the backdrop of yet another successful quarter. Notable is stabilization of our macroeconomic environment anchored by our own domestic ZIC currency. Zimbabwe will assume the chairmanship of our regional SADC organization at the SADC summit to be held on the 17th and 18th of August 2024. On a solemn note the party and nation lost more gallant heroes who fought for the liberation of Zimbabwe. These include the late Brigadier General Shadrach Veza, Naeshad Zimri, Grace Sitsi Jadigu. Last week we lost Brigadier RTD, Romeo Ronald Matsvangama. He will be interred at the National Heroes Acre on Monday, July 1, 2024. We are fast approaching the one-year mark since elections and we look back with a sense of pride at the successes we have realized. We are delivering election promises we made to the people and realizing a higher quality of life for our people, especially those at grassroots. Going forward, let us continue to, to work harder and remain responsive to the need of our people. Noon and no place must be left behind. It is our results and concrete benefits of our policies to the masses that will win the hearts and minds of the populace. And thereby, endear the people to our party, ZANU-PF, we adhere to the fundamental principles of organizing and building our revolutionary mass party based on concrete structures from the cell slash village and so on. ZANF cannot afford to be preoccupied with filling executive positions with no base. In ongoing restructuring exercise due attention must be put into placing more young people in our structures. Those who want to buy their way into ZANF and manipulate the ongoing restructuring must be exposed. The party will not hesitate to invoke Article 37 Section 549 of our Constitution to those who exhibit undisciplined and brute ambition. Responsive policies of our GVT have seen continued growth and stabilization of our economy. This is despite effects of climate change-induced El Nino drought, illegal sanctions, as well as other related shocks. The conducive business operating environment, unity, peace and harmony must be protected and sustained. Further, our hard-working, talented, Young entrepreneurs should be supported and facilitated to innovate and produce more local goods and products for the benefit of our communities. Commencement of production at the Dinsen Manhais plant and resuscitation of mines such as Komativi in Met North is a welcome development. I congratulate winter wheat farmers. We have surpassed our national planting targets. I had opportunity to advance our engagement and re-engagement drive at the recently held Korea Africa Summit as well as the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum held in Russia. We must be aware of the realities and onslaughts affecting former liberation movements and the African region as a whole. I am aware of certain rogue elements within the nation who are bent on peddling falsehoods and instigating acts of civil disorder especially before, during and after regional and world stage events. The Zanap fled GVT will not tolerate any form of destabilization in our country to disturb our security peaceful and tranquil environment. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.